floor. I'm going to make it. <sighs> Wait, this isn't the next floor. It looks like a library. Does that mean I'm still... It is time for your demise. Prepare your essence for its deconstruction. Please, please don't hurt me. I was only exploring. I heard the legends. I only wanted to see if they were true. Legends cannot compare to the horror of your departure from this plane. I shall teach you. No! Make it stop! There was a time long ago before the transformation, before the carnage, before I roamed these halls in search of souls to steal. I was but a simple bellboy, tasked with providing stellar service and appeasing each and every one of our guest demands. It's hard to imagine, but this hotel was once a glamorous vacation getaway for the wealthy. It hosted only the richest, most esteemed patrons and was viewed as the pinnacle of class. But of course, such a reputation attracts a certain set of customers. I was mistreated by our guests, to say the least. They were all terribly mean and demanding. Whether I was scrubbing their floors or primping their pillows, nothing I did ever seemed to be enough. It was humiliating on a daily basis, degrading even. I was yelled at constantly, and when it wasn't yelling, it was laughing. I've lost count of all the times I was intentionally embarrassed by guests purely for their amusement. It doesn't matter how ridiculous, petty, or dangerous it was. No matter the request, it was my job as a bellboy to serve in silent enthusiasm. The worst was getting luggage up to their rooms. We had an elevator, of course, but that was for guests only. I had to take the stairs every time. If any bellboy was caught using an elevator, they would be you fired be on the spot. With such how did they tip? Pockets, you'd think they'd be generous, but you'd be wrong. They had as much money in their wallets as they had hate in their hearts, but I never saw a dime. That being said, the guest torment was the least of your concerns if you made a mistake. You see, the hotel provided us bellboys with food in addition to a meager monthly pay. It definitely wasn't anything special. But if a guest made any sort of complaint about you, you didn't get anything. And on hungry nights, you'd give about anything for just one bite of that disgusting slop. But despite all the torment I experienced as a bellboy, it was a lone silver lining. The tranquil majesty of the hotel library. There were shell 